Hey, what's going on? This is Roots. This is uh, our weekly review, or one of them anyway, our Wednesday's review, and uh, that's my choice. This is what I chose, and uh, if you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, (laughs) (laughs) uh, Essentially, it was uh, Ten Hearts, um, as you can see from this trailer. And it is a uh, Lemmings game. Seems like a pretty simple Lemmings game, you would think, uh, in general. But uh, um, I think there's a little bit more to it. I this game, um, where it shines, is is visually and uh, graphically. It just uh, it's a very magical um, experience, in my opinion. Uh, I know Wes. I know you tried the beginning of it. Let, let me get your first impression of of the graphics and and what you thought of the. Uh, um just graphically of what it was yeah graphically uh speaking that that's probably the the strength of this game i put i put about an hour into it and uh yeah the the graphical fidelity is striking from the very first moment of the game um it it really it puts me in in the mind of the the game that we reviewed yesterday's review moss it's the, the scenes aren't quite that intricate and large, but the scale is similar and the level of detail on that scale is similar. So when I was playing it, it's what really put me in the mind of Moss from a, a visual standpoint. And yeah, it's a very, very good looking game. Yeah, it was definitely. Uh, yeah. Go, go ahead, Alex. I was going to turn it over to you. I was just <clears throat> I was just going to say uh, it does look great um, and it's got different graphic settings and I played about with them and you can definitely see the difference between low and and high uh, because I think it uses dynamic lighting but did you guys feel like it was a little like not quite as sharp and clear like maybe a little blur on it or did uh, you I didn't experience that at all yeah, yeah no. me neither no. I actually um that was one of the things that when I first tried this because it when it first came out um I guess it was what November 8th of last year I had heard about it on Anthony's show and um I just thought I'd check it out because it kind of reminded me. It was right before Christmas time, and I thought, "Oh, it looks pretty cool." Um, and like I said, I the the scale again that that keeps coming up. Um, it was it was just so crazy. I got so close to these things, and I even did this yesterday with the Rift S and the scale, the detail that they did to this. That's why I say it's magical. And I was watching your your let's play Wes, and it takes a while. It takes several stages where you don't know like what is this because it's showing you so many different things, and then it finally opens up to like a room, and then you do this room and you move into another room. So it kind of gives you incentive to want to check out the different environments, right? And um, as you can see, you got all these different blocks. So you're you're you got the you open the block box and the soldiers come out, and you have to try to redirect them in different ways. It's not the hardest game, um, but if you like Lemmings, I to me it was one of the coolest Lemming types of games. And and again, it was just it was being able to see these little toy soldiers. Um, they were just so cute and uh, magical. So yeah, but uh, anyway, um, I, I I don't know. It, I think I agree. Yeah, the graphics are definitely where it's, it shines. So yeah, the graphics are great. Uh, uh, it's definitely a strong point of the game. Um, I mean, you are in. It's not cartoony at all. It's very realistic looking. So if you're in these environments that look like there could be a real environment, they look like they're a real room. Um, so they've done a really good job with that. It uses Unreal Engine. It's got dynamic lighting. You can see all the shadows moving around with things. So it, it does look really nice. I just for some reason it wasn't super super sharp for me. I, I, I figured they'd not use the. I think I, I felt like they were using TXSA AA anti lazing or something and it would just have a little bit of blur to it but i could be wrong play, but it was still a good looking did game. you play on index uh no okay so no it's... but it, it still didn't look as sharp as other games okay. that was another game we're going to talk about which looked a lot sharper than this but uh yeah that's the only thing i did but the, the visually it looks great and like you say that it's got like a um, like an enchanting sort of magical feel to the place it's got like a like a fantasy Almost like those Christmas movies, you know, where you, um, where you've got like, this toy factory and all these little toys are walking around, and yeah, it, it felt really, really cool just being in that world. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, yeah so, so, just, so you've got these so, little toy soldiers. You were saying that like, it's like a Lemmings. Um, it is like Lemmings in, in theory, there where you've got these. Uh, 
soldiers and you've got to get them to one from destination to the other but it's not quite as frantic as that uh, with lemmings you you always end up with some day and then you got to just try and get as many as you could to the finish whereas with this you can stop time rewind time so this it's more of a chill version of lemmings i'd say where you you, you kind of you're more relaxed you don't have to stress as much you can just pause time or rewind at any point you want um but and i'd say within the first it doesn't get really very hard probably for at least a good hour into the game so it takes a good hour probably to get into it where it starts to get a bit more difficult and you have to be a bit more challenged um the game is early access which uh people who are regular to show no i'm not a big fan of but with this game uh they this does feel like it's it's basically got the full first act and then apparently they're releasing Act 2 and Act 3. But we're basic, basing it on what's in there right now. And it does feel like a complete game, what the, what's in there right now. It feels polished. It feels finished. So I I, wouldn't, I, I still believe that they are going to do the other acts in there. But even as it is now, it, it feels like it doesn't feel like an early access game to me. It feels like a finished product. Now, you made it further. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Wes. No, go ahead. You're, you're... I was just gonna say I was gonna. Um, you made it further than I did on the. Um, so you're probably a little bit more in the story. Uh, did you feel like the story was close to being finished, or? Uh... No, no. Okay, all right. It's, it just starts to tell the story, but you're definitely not getting. There's no a conclusion or anything, so they're definitely going to carry that on in the in the other acts. Although it's worth saying that. I didn't finish the axe because I got stuck on the second to last level and I just could not get past it. So I try. I even tried cheating and looking online for a playthrough and I couldn't find one. So I, I, I want to finish this act, but it's the second to last level. If the devs uh, listen to this, please email me. Let me know how to do it because I want to finish the uh, the act one. But um, yeah, let's let's talk about the gameplay. Um, because we've already mentioned it's like a Lemmings uh, kind of game where you've got these toy soldiers that go from one point, you've got to get them from one point to another. But how you do that is obviously kind of starts off quite simple, where you've got these blocks, they can only be put in certain locations, uh, and you can kind of move them upside down, so, and you use your hands to to manipulate them. But then as the game progresses, you do get more and more elements. So I'll pass it back to you, Roots, to talk, maybe talk about more how the game evolves with, with, with the with the gameplay side of things uh well i mean it pretty much like you said it just starts out slow um it gets to the point where the rooms become pretty big and you're you're having to go around and, and grab blocks um and use them reuse the blocks to where uh use them and move them to another one you've uh it'll actually get to the point where it there's blocks that you don't um necessarily have a a place where you need to put them like they're free blocks so you can put you can use those so um toy trains and drums they add so there's there's a lot of um more intricacy to to the gameplay like you said more than lemmings it's it's not something that you're ever going to feel rushed over you're going to feel more frustrated for a bit till you figure out exactly what you're doing um but uh you know, I didn't get to the point where you did, where I was like, I, I, I can't figure this out. I just ran out of time. Uh, do you think you'll go back more into it, Alex, to figure that out? Or like I told you, maybe you're supposed to make that uh, that <laughs> video for somebody else to be able to I get mean, it I, I mean, I just, I just want to say I spent 45 minutes on one level trying to figure it out. So I didn't just go in there and couldn't <laughs> figure it out. I, I spent a good 30 minutes just playing about, trying to figure it out. And then I went online tried to find a, a playthrough, found yours, in fact, Wes, and you you not got as far as me, so that was no good to me. Um, and, yeah, uh, I, I did um, – I've not been able to finish it. But if they bring the other acts out, I want to go back in and do the, the rest of the game, so I will need to figure it out at some point because I want to see where the game goes. And, and uh, I did enjoy it. Like, like you say, it does open up with the – in terms of the gameplay, you've got the blocks where you can actually get – you get blocks rather than having to place them in set locations. You can put them anywhere. Uh, you get drums which you can uh, start to move around and redirect where the characters are going to land. There's like little balloon things where you can have them uh, fly off in balloons and land in certain I places. See that. So, man, I <laughs> oh, see. There's a jack in bo- jack in the box which you've got to avoid, otherwise he eats your little toy soldiers. So they they add more and more to the game um, and obviously I haven't finished it so they may be adding more towards the end and they're definitely going to be putting more in, in, the, in the other acts when they're released um, 
but yeah, it's 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 a it's a it's a fun game, and it does actually. It's not because you can pause time and you can rewind and fast forward. It's not really challenging, but it does get to a point where you still have to engage your brain a little bit and think and think and figure things out. So it's not frustrating apart from the level I'm stuck on. But other than that, uh, it was never really I never really got majorly stuck anywhere or anything. So. Did either of you? Yeah. I'm sorry, Wes. I'm gonna let you go, dude. Because <laughs> go for it. No, I've just all I wanted to say is for someone who's trying this game new, uh, don't judge it too quickly, because the way this game works, the the puzzles work like light puzzles, uh, and the type of light puzzles I'm talking about are those laser puzzles where you're you have lasers that originate from a spot and you're trying to make it to the goal and you have all these mirrors and prisms to work with to re redirect the uh, the laser that's that's how these puzzles work uh, only it works on a much slower level uh, where you have these these toys uh, coming from an origin point and you're trying to get them into various goal points and uh, and the way that the game progresses is with each puzzle, you get another ability or another kind of object to redirect them. With every uh, with every puzzle, you get something else. So the game gets more and more and more complex, uh, and you have more and more and more ability to uh, manipulate these toys. But at the beginning, it, it starts very, very basic, literally with a toy soldier walking unimpeded from <laughs> one spot to another and it progresses very slowly uh so you have to play for a while before this game has any kind of fun factor or challenge to it so that's really all i wanted to say is is that this thing works like uh, a laser puzzler where you have the ability to manipulate time and it progresses slowly so even if you're, you're not feeling it at first stick with it for a little while it does get better yeah, I agree. It really holds your hand to start with, and it's it's kind of just giving you the basics and showing you how to do the game. But it holds your hand for a while. I mean, it doesn't get difficult or any sort of challenge for, like, say, for a good hour. I'd say. Um, so, I mean, I, luckily, I was enjoying the world. I was enjoying the game, and I was enjoying the being. The, I wanted to see where it went, um, but it's not challenging to start with. So. If you're looking for a really challenging sort of puzzle game, I don't think this is probably going to be right for you. Um, but if you like this sort of, I don't know, what's the word, it's kind of story driven in a way because there is a story backstory to it, which plays out as you go through the games. So these like holograms pop up and it shows little parts to the story. But um, yeah, I think we've said enough on that. It's, 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 a, it's not a really difficult game, but it's, it's still uh gets better and it does get harder so if you do play it don't just give up on it after an hour and think you know this is too easy because it does get more difficult as you play through. let me ask you guys this did you i mean it and of course this isn't part of the game obviously because you know they're going to do whatever they've got your focused on the puzzles but did you try to mess with any of the environment and get we're a little disappointed that like nothing is interactive like I just get, I don't know. I guess maybe because you're used to those those uh, on US, you got kids that are little. You know those games that are on the PC where everything they click interacts. You would be cool if you could pick up stuff and mess with them in between, or I don't know. Maybe that's just a nitpicky thing, but it wouldn't it wouldn't work in this game because if you could move books and things in the world, then you could let you the puzzles would break. So. No, I'm not talking about moving uh, stuff around, but like you click something and something happens, you know, or I don't know. Oh right, I, I, I just feel like it's there's just so much cool environment that it would be nice to be able to interact with some of it. But uh, um, anyway. Yeah, I, I had the same thought uh, early on in the game when there wasn't much going on with the gameplay. When they finally give you the ability to move around, uh, which, by the way, you don't start with. You're, you're frozen at the start of this game. But after a few puzzles, you end up getting the ability to move around. And these uh, these scenes are very detailed beautiful scenes and it makes you want to interact with them and you're thinking well if these puzzles aren't going to give me any value uh, i'd like to interact with this environment a little bit and yeah it was a little bit disappointed when absolutely uh, nothing was interactive other than things that are involved with the puzzle 
Maybe something that'd be cool. Yeah, it's, it, it's worth saying as well that once you get the, because I didn't realise this on my first playthrough, time I played it, you, you can change to free locomotion. I thought it was teleport only. Uh, but if you go into the control, where it says control scheme, uh, you can cycle through and, and, and activate smooth locomotion. So there is that in there. So it's not teleport only. Cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's much more to talk about it. If you guys have anything else to say on it, I know it is 1999 normally uh, on sale now for 999 um, for the next couple of days for the sale. So if you're interested in checking it out now would be the time to pick it up at 50 percent off. Yeah, it's definitely worth the sale price, um, even even if they don't add anything else to it right now. Uh, I mean, it took me about two and a half hours to get to where I was, and I'm sure when I do eventually finish it, because I will finish it, but I'm, I'm sure uh, you're talking about three hours, and, and apparently they're going to bring in Act 2 and Act 3 out, which are the same. So you're looking, when it's finished, it'll be like nine hours worth of content, which you now is great value. Um, but I think you've got to be into this, into this kind of game as well. I don't, I don't think some some people just don't like this sort of sort of thing. So if you you'll know if you're looking at the gameplay and and whether it's your sort of thing. Um, but if you don't mind kind of puzzle games with nice graphics and you know a little bit of a backstory, then I think it's worth picking up like, even in the early access as it is now. And and they yeah I, I'll. Sorry, go I was ahead. just going to say, they don't show it here, but you can speed, like you said, you can rewind and speed up time. Like even in Wes's Let's Play, he was like, oh, thank God you can. Because like, I don't want to watch every little guy walk across. Once I figure it out, I want to run those fuckers quick and they need to get to the next scene. Um, so, but. Yeah, that is unique to this game. This style of game with the ability to manipulate time definitely adds to the game. And uh, I do agree with what Alex says. I think this game is is worth the sale price. I would wait for a sale. I, w I don't know if it's worth the full twenty dollars, unless you're you're really into this sort of thing. It is a uh, a, a moderately, you know, paced puzzle game. Uh, but it above all, this is a uh, a charming story and a charming world uh, to experience. So I would say that it's definitely worth the sale price, and uh, unless you're just completely averse to puzzles. Well, I'm yeah. I'm gonna find out if um, the finisher's adverse to this. I might call him in on this, so I wanted to see if he can finish it and let Alex know how to get through it, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Justin be able to figure out that s spot. That's a challenge. That's a challenge. Yeah, to that's you, that's a challenge to you, Justin. Second to yep. last level, finish it, and then tell me how you did it. <laughs> yeah, so, he actually uh, he said he wasn't sure. He was trying to decide if he wanted to play this game or not. He said there's another game that's very similar to this, like a, a some kind of a mouse trap game or something that he's already played. That's very similar hmm. from a gameplay perspective. Okay, yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so unless there's anything else, I guess we will uh, call this review uh, done and. Uh, you know, it's definitely a good a review. I mean, a uh, pickup on sale. Um, I picked it up at full price. Twenty bucks isn't that much, but you know, if you don't like you know this type of game, then you know maybe ten bucks would be better. So, yeah, if they had the other acts, then it's and you like sort of game, it's going to be a no brainer if they keep that price because you're going to get so much more content. So, but they, it, it all depends on if they do add the content because obviously this came out. I think it was towards the end of November last year. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, but they have actually just dropped a patch recently, like literally two, three days ago, fixing a few issues. So it seems like they are still working on it, and hopefully that means that they're maybe getting ready to launch the the second act or something. So yep. cool. All right, so I guess we'll call it here, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow for uh, for our review of the next game. So yep, Red Matter. So, bye bye. Bye. bye.